Alrighty guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the shrine yet again and I can already tell you this week's shrine isn't fantastic. We're going to go into a little bit of detail straight away about some of these perks, okay? Dance with me. What does it do? Basically, whenever you perform a rushed action, such as jumping out of a locker, not jumping in, but out of a locker, jumping over a pallet, jumping over a window, in a shift spacebar manner, whether you're being medium vaulting by being up against the window, or you have prep momentum for the run-up, therefore a fast fault, this perk will activate. It has a 60, 50, and 40 second cooldown, respectively, with a tier 1, tier 2, or a tier 3. Based on these things, what happens? When you do the rushed action, you will leave no scratch marks for the next 3 seconds. Now, scratch marks last 10 seconds, and they're nearly unreadable at 7 seconds. With lightweight, they last... 7 seconds, they're nearly unreadable at 4 seconds. However, without either of those two perks, scratch marks will not be appear, period. Remember, for the first 3 seconds. The perk will give you an indicator at the bottom of the screen when it's ready to expire as well, as an indicator when it is on cooldown. This being said, Dance With Me also stacks with things like Quick and Quiet and uh, Life. Now, Life will allow you to, when you perform a rushed action out over a window or over a pallet, you will then get Sprint Burst equivalent at 150% movement speed for 3 seconds. This means this will stack with Dance With Me, provided Dance With Me isn't on cooldown, and you're going to be able to run at 150% movement speed and leave no scratch marks or trail. With Quick and Quiet, you're not even going to give a sound notification you vaulted the window, but you are still going to make the inhale when you go over the pallet or over the window, which the killer is able to hear, but it is a very small, acute sound to listen to. That is Dance With Me. Would I recommend buying it? Not really, because what I just told you was three or four perks that you need to put together to be able to make this build work, and it's actually putting a lot of your eggs in one basket, so generally you'd like to spread it out, have a perk to assist your team, a perk to get objectives done, a perk to recover from a mistake, a utility perk. You know, you don't want to overstack on too many of the perks unless you're going for a build tailored towards it. Can be a fun perk to run, though. Now, the next perk is Iron Maiden. What is Iron Maiden? Iron Maiden allows you to search a locker 30, 40, and 50% quicker. It is commonly used on a Huntress, because a Huntress has to reload at lockers after she throws five hatchets, providing she doesn't have the Iridescent Head add-on, which would give her one hatchet, and if she had the Infantry Belt, giving her an additional two. However, she can stack add-ons for more hatchets as well. Keep that in mind. So when she goes to reload at a locker, she'll reload, like I said, 30, 40, and 50% quicker. However, there is an add-on a Huntress can run that'll allow her to reload faster. It does stack with Iron Maiden. However, this means she'll be reloading at about 80% faster. If somebody was in the locker and she does the grab animation, it's still only 50% faster based on the fact the add-on does not apply towards grabbing a survivor out of a locker. You'll also see a Doctor use Iron Maiden on a map like the game. That way people can't hide from a, uh, well not really barbecue or chili, but they can't really hide from the static blast that the Doctor will do after he does a hook. That way he knows. The other part of Iron Maiden is when a survivor gets out of a locker, they will scream, there'll be a speech bubble above their head, and they will also be exposed for 15 seconds, meaning an M1 will put them into dying state. Any projectile will not put them in dying state, keeping that in mind that a Huntress throwing axe is classified as a projectile. However, a Demogorgon, not a Demogorgon, sorry, the Death Slinger, when he shoots his projectile, he still reels him in an M1, therefore it will count as an M1. Is it a good perk? You know, it's not bad. It'd be nice to have on a Huntress. Realistically, it can't be utilized very efficiently on anyone else, but you can still make it work. The next perk is Overwhelming Presence. Overwhelming Presence is actually one of my favorite off-meta perks that you can use back in the day. It's not that great anymore based on the fact that when an item is consumed, the survivor still holds onto the item. Therefore, Franklin's doesn't drop items. Well, it still drops items, but it doesn't destroy an item. I mean, that was a bit harsh prior. But what does this do? Basically, while they are within your heartbeat, a survivor, when they're using whatever they have, a map, a key to detect your aura through Blood Amber, uh, a toolbox to do generators or hooks, any uh, med kit to heal, no matter what they're using, it'll be consumed at an 80, 90, and 100% faster rate. It will still consume, so let's just say a toolbox does 10, 12% of, 12 of a generator, okay? This will make the toolbox get consumed in half the speed, therefore it can only do half the amount. Therefore it can only do 6% rather than 12%, if that makes sense, because the time of the toolbox being used is half. It's actually a really great perk, however it's outweighed by other things, it's dependent survivors bring items, and it's dependent that you have a heartbeat, therefore on a stealth based killer it's not going to really excel, as opposed to unnerving presence, which would reduce the size of skill checks and prop them more often. Uh, do I think it's a great perk? It's okay. Would I buy it? No, I wouldn't. It is a DLC Doctor perk unlocked at level 30, keeping that in mind. This is also a Legion perk unlocked at level 40, and this is a Kate Denson te Teachable unlocked at level 40. Now the next perk is a Quinton Teachable, which I believe is level 35, because Vigil's at level 40. 
Uh, this is actually a pretty cool perk. I'm not going to lie to you. What does it do? It allows you to search chests 40, 45, and 50% quick, uh, quicker. You're quieter by 8 meters. Realistically, Technician does 8 meters too for a generator in terms of sound. However, the thing about Technician is if a Jenny's chugging, a killer's still going to come over and check. Remember, at the top of a generator, there are four pistons on the left and the four pistons on the right of the Jenny. Each pistons are pretty much linked, keeping that in mind that pistons on one side will be moving as the same pistons on the opposite side. Now, each piston represents approximately 22% of a generator. Therefore, when all four pistons are chugging a lot, that's the thing on the top of the generator, you'll be able to tell. So there'll be eight pistons really chugging. The Jenny's about 90% done, nearly completed as well. So Tinker would activate if you had it around that point of time as well. So you can take that as a visual indicator as killer rather than needing to go up to the generator to check. You know, if you see two pistons moving you know it's around 44 45 50 percent of the generator done therefore you know how much value you're going to get out of pop goes weasel you're going to be looking at half the value therefore you'll be looking at 10 seconds knocked off straight away plus the regression of 0.3 but it will come with time playing the game so pharmacy allows you not just to search 50 percent quicker it'll also allow you that when you have finished your animation and you have searched the chest you're going to be able to guarantee that you're going to get a green med kit a green med kit is a really good one it's an emergency med kit emergency med kits are the fastest healing med kit on a teammate as opposed to the ranger make it which is better which is a better heal for yourself i believe as well where it just has a bigger skill check and more charges it's not bad uh you can stack pharmacy alongside a perk called ace in the hole which is going to allow you to plunder items with add-ons therefore you can guarantee a awesome make it with one to two add-ons as well on your first chest search therefore if you try to search another chest you will not have access to this perk working in terms of guaranteeing a green make it but all the other effects will be enabled if you were to run pharmacy and plunderers pharmacy takes priority and will run first just keeping these things in mind it's a pretty fun perk to use to collect items and make kits especially and keeping in mind it is the best make kit for healing another person as opposed to healing yourself so that's always cute to look at as well anyways guys that's gonna be this week's shrine uh if i were to buy anything out of the shrine i would probably take pharmacy to be honest even if you were a killer main iron maiden is not bad if you want to play the huntress and you don't have any dlc perks but it's not really good for any of the other killers that are you know, free for Dead by Daylight. Anyways, guys, I hope to see you in the fog. In the next video, I'm going to be doing some more educational Survivor and Killer content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys, and you pop into the live stream where I stream DVD five days a week over here on Twitch, guys. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the fog.